Hey everybody, like I said the other day, because we're coming into a new season, a lot of fashion brands are bringing out new things, new collections, which means I will be doing quite a few fashion videos. So here's another one. Um, and I just wanted to say that a couple of people recently have accused me of being a little bit commercial or a bit superficial and talking too much about stuff, about fashion and beauty and stuff. So I just wanted to take this moment to show those people the about section of my YouTube channel. Fashion and beauty for dark-sided people plus vlogs, adventures, lifestyle and fun. If you hear noises it's it's my cat playing with the bedding. He's in that mode. So yeah of course I do make a lot of fashion and beauty related videos because I am actually really passionate about fashion. I'm interested in fashion especially gothic and alternative fashion. I love it. Okay, but upon looking at my channel, of which I have like hundreds of videos, I think like they're mostly vlogs actually, but I don't say that it's a vlogging channel, but I think it's mostly vlogs because I like to be able to make all kinds of different things. So why don't you tell me in the comments below just to like help me out and you know just make it so you can see more of what you want. Why don't you tell me in the comments what your favorite kinds of videos are from me. Do you like these fashion videos and these try on things because I think they're really fun. I love doing them. A lot of people really love them. Some people prefer vlogs and for those of you who do prefer vlogs over fashion videos you are also in luck because as it is again coming into a new season there is a fuck ton of cool shit for me to go to in the next few months. Festivals and trips and all kinds of amazing things coming up that I'm looking forward to making vlogs about. So whether you're into the fashion and beauty videos or you're into the vlogs and adventure stuff or the lifestyle stuff, uh, either way you're in luck. So anyway today I'm going to show you some stuff from the website punkravestore.com. There's a, quite a few websites that sell punk rave stuff and this is one of the one of the kind of main ones. The people I've spoken to from that website, very friendly. Customer service is very friendly and they do like to keep up to date with all the, the new things. And they're very active on social media, so if you want to keep up with all the cool new stuff that's coming out from Punk Rave, then I do urge you to go follow them on like Instagram, for example. I'll link that below if you like. This is my first time reviewing this store and the stuff that I got from them. Anyway, the things that I got from there, these things in this little pile, so fucking nice. I hope you'll agree. These are a few items that I kind of had my eye on for a while and primarily uh, this 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 top that I have on at the moment. The second it came out as soon as I saw the first pictures of it I, I died a little bit inside because it is unusual and I love it because it has a square neckline and I happen to love square necklines. I know that doesn't sound like something to get that excited about but I really love like Baroque Rococo Georgian fashion which was a lot of square necklines and so for me that this top was kind of reminiscent of that. So yeah this top was the thing that I was most excited to get and I fucking love it and when I've worn it I've received nothing but compliments. It's so nice. It's got this nice lace around the front. It's got drippy sleeves and it's all kind of drippy and pointed around the bottom. I like how this is slightly reminiscent of Georgian fashion at least to me but it's also like drippy and spooky and mysterious. It's got interesting and random trims and it's fitting and it's flattering. I think it looks especially nice with a long skirt. This top is now one of my favorite garments and I'm not just saying that, it is genuinely one of my favorite garments. I think it's so beautiful and so perfect. Like if I was going to design clothes it would look kind of like this. There would be a lot of like sort of Georgian influence if you know what I mean. Next item is another historically inspired dress. This gives me kind of Edwardian vibes. I already put a picture of myself on Instagram a while ago wearing this because I have worn it two or three times and I think it's, it's so pretty. <laughs> it's in two pieces so it's got like a black plain dress that goes underneath and this lace dress that goes over top and the effect is just so pretty like it has these slightly puffy sleeves which I'm not sure how good they look on me but all the the applique and the lace and the layeriness of it is so beautiful and it has this like buttoned up back and the skirt is so long at the back that it trails across the ground it's just so beautifully old-fashioned and truly gothic Looking. I've worn this just to go drink with friends but you could wear this to a festival or to a date or a formal like a prom I guess it's just so classy. Next item is something pretty practical I like leggings I like to wear leggings when I'm being lazy my sort of lazy day go-to outfit is like leggings with a long top and like a sort of classier version of leggings and a long top can be found in these sorts of frilly lace panel insert fucking beautiful leggings. Like I wore them in a video a 
few weeks ago and some of you were like where, where did those come from what are you wearing on your legs so these like all of punk Rave's things i am wearing a double xl their sizes are tiny they're asian sizes but these fit really nicely and they look so pretty and like all of punk Rave stuff there's kind of more to it than you expect between each of the lace panels on the side is a tiny little metal cross i feel like this goes nicely with just like a long top something loose and flowing so yeah a classier version on lazy leggings sticking with the leg area here's something i haven't really owned before kind of this is a pencil skirt an incredibly pretty pencil skirt the front of it is just oh i always figured i didn't have the hips and butt for pencil skirts so i never bothered with them i did have one in the past just a simple one that i would wear to job interviews so i could try to look professional so i feel like one could incorporate this or something like this into a corporate goth look I think that can be done. I reckon you could wear this to the office. Because of the shape of it and because of the beautiful lace trims and appliques and stuff, I feel like this is a kind of multiple occasion garment. It doesn't hobble your legs or make it hard to walk. The feeling I get from this is kind of a classy professional look. Like I want to wear it with like a loose blouse and a pair of high heels kind of thing. The last thing I have to show you is something I haven't worn anything like since I was a teenager. Uh, when I was a teenager, I really loved to wear like Chong Sams. Why did I? I had one. I had this really beautiful Chong Sam when I was quite young and it was so pretty. I don't know where I got it from. I have a funny feeling someone actually brought it back from Asia for me because I most of my friends at high school were Asian. So this is kind of like that. It's sort of inspired by that. I feel like this would look better on someone who was a little bit more petite than me. And I'm not sure how good cat sleeves suit me. But this is a little Asian inspired mini dress with this really epic decoration on the front with chains and an open back that corsets up and little cap sleeves and some fancy fabric and it's velvet and I love velvet. So yeah, I had my doubts about how well this dress would suit me but I think it's just so pretty and again, really classy but also striking. So those are all the things that I wanted to show you from punkravestore.com. I will of course link in the description box to all the things I have shown you individually. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and my fabulous modeling skin. Like I said, do let me know in the comments what kinds of videos do you like seeing from me the most. I like to make all kinds of different things. I like to keep shit interesting. Variety is the spice of life. If you have not already done so, please hit the red button below and subscribe to my lovely spooky channel and become one of us. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye!